Welcome back, my delinquents. The internet is in chaos due to former President Trump being attacked today. Don't worry, I'm not going into politics. As I do not cover topics I am not equipped to talk or commentate on. I would like to also encourage all debate to stay civil in the comments and in general, honestly. We are talking more about the internet's reaction and the backlash many big VTubers slash creators have gotten for joking or making strong opinions on those incidents, such as Tricky Wee, Destiny, Hassan, Kirsch, Rebse, Desu, and many more. Some in the VTuber community, some not, as this is such a big situation. I was aware of the situation on Trump being shot on stream 20 minutes after it happened, spread around Twitter quite quickly. As predicted, the internet did what the internet did, made conspiracy theories and memes. As almost immediately staged was trending on Twitter with the actual news reports, as you can see, it didn't take a very serious approach almost straight away. Which is unfortunate, as serious situations should be taken seriously, but it is the internet. During the next few hours, creators made many statements about this. Tricky's been one of the first to get backlash amongst VTubers. Specifically, I'm gonna focus on them because Destiny, Hassan, and everyone is a whole tire fire, honestly, but I'm gonna go as this as our main example of the situation. So let me get into some of these posts. So here we have like Keemstar. I didn't mention Keemstar because he's Keemstar. Going on to this and some of Hassan's reaction, which is I'm gonna briefly show, but not the main focus here. From He's clip farming harder than Jinxie. He keeps throwing up his fucking fist. He's been in many of these Trump rallies. And it's here's over. One of our colleagues there on the ground, the photo journalist. I'm not going to say my opinion fully on this, but I just wanted to show Hassan just to show the absolute spectacle this is getting turned into online and the just in general chaos this is ensuing and people treating it like it's a show almost, which is kind of crazy. Next, we're going to just go straight into Tricky Wee. We're going to go into her original tweet and her apology right here because she has apologized and deleted the tweets and some other things. Here we go. Remember to always shoot your shot. Surely you won't fucking miss. Not the time or place, Tricky. Obviously saying to the fact that the shooter missed their shot um, because they missed the shot there. I think this is honestly not the darkest joke I've ever seen, but it's definitely too soon. But that's all I will say about that. It's just like, what would you rate this joke on mild to brutal? It is a joke and it is making light of the situation, but it is definitely not the darkest I've seen. Oh, so let me scroll the side if I bring up some of the footage of my reaction to the first section. So we'll see if we can bring out some of the memes there that other people are going. Because I have definitely seen a, some where some people are complaining that he didn't die pretty much and I don't think that's what Tricky was particularly doing here but it's not a fantastic look. Personally no matter your politics or who you agree with or who you don't agree with I think it's good to take a bit of empathy on there but you have to realize to some extent VTubers are comedians and comedians make bad jokes. They are not your moral compass in the world. I will go more into this later. Now we're going to go on to their apology. I messed up with a very poor taste tweet. I made an impulsive stupid joke in the heat of the moment and meanly regretted it. I jumped the god not knowing the full story of the situation to jump on the bandwagon missing your shot tweets. See, this is not just tricky, this was a very trendy thing, which definitely don't just jump on trend wagons because you don't know what they're fully for, because tricky is true in, uh, of when this first started that when the news first hit, people weren't aware someone was actually hurt other than Trump was ear was grazed. It wasn't straight away that they released in the news that a bystander was hurt. Leaving that no one was harmed, I have educated myself now and am incredibly sorry. And what she means by educated, a lot of people are memeing on her, She's like, oh, how did you get educated? She means like she now is aware that it's a very, way more serious situation than she was first alleged. Though I don't think people are quite as aware how serious an assassination tip is and it's not really good news for anyone. While I'm all for a good joke, this is not one of them and it was highly insensitive. I would never advocate for anyone getting hurt. It was a child mistake. The JK tweet was an attempt to lighten the mood, but it made it seem even more insensitive to a very serious situation. I'm very sorry. That's not giving as fuck tweet was directed at a replier, not to the situation itself. I do think like originally Tricky seemed to be trying to de-escalate and show it was joking just from my perspective, you can have your own opinion on that. But what do you guys think? Is this a dark joke gone too far? Is this rubbing in the f wound? Are people being insensitive about a meme? What do you guys think there? Personally, I, I do think it was too soon. Obviously, I think a lot of the memes of dark things about most stuff is too soon. But at some point, everything in com comedy can become a joke. But what do you guys think? So we're going to go over some more replies here. One of the first 
up to wish curse and i'm 100 percent saying that wrong and rev said desu replied to these posts uh kind of grotesque to see vtubers cheering for an assassination attempt this is what years of propaganda dehumanizing language leads to jk it comes off hollow after i don't give a fuck the unfollow button is right there to be fair but the the thing here is a lot of people are pointing out with the outrage here because it's fine to be upset or th from the lack of empathy with these jokes that's completely fine but some people has pointed out that in other situations kirsch and rev have has called people snowflakes for similar behavior calling out saying dark jokes are just jokes so it's interesting this back and forth here over the situation but creating this chaos between each other over a very serious situation and turning it into a dispute over political parties instead of the actual concerning action it is it's just creating more problem it doesn't cost anything to talk things out seriously so no matter who's a hypocrite or who's wrong i think it, you can talk things severely out and i think setting a good example when you have a large following is important we don't want to just be setting fires on twitter when things are getting so out of hand and it really takes away from the important topics Rev then says their piece on at least say it with your whole chest you fucking loser and then tricky ties to like damage control this I don't care about your reply to me per se but I did delete it immediately after because it was in bad taste and I educated myself about the whole thing situation impulse tweet after opening twitter it was absolutely a bad joke yeah nice try a nice try at damage control you don't care yet you responded you don't care yet you tweeted that disgusting shit get out they seem to be going very hard on Tricky for making a joke here. I would say it was a distasteful joke, but does it really warrant such a hard response? From this, I'm not sure. And Kurt seems to be doing that when people tell you who they are, believe them kind of thing. But the thing here is that a lot of people have linked to me is to the fact that Curse themselves also <laughs> retweeted a joke about the instance. Maybe if they left Embrace Guns a little more, they could actually land a shot. Is also a joke about the fact that he didn't get shot. It's not in the sense of he should have got sods, but I don't think it automatically trickies was either. It was just a little bit more in the harsh category. But Curse themselves were retweeting jokes about it themselves. So it seems very riled up when everyone seems to be doing the exact same behavior. I do think it's kind of slightly hypocritical the fact if it shouldn't be joked at at all, then it shouldn't be joked about. I don't even think Tricky's joke was even halfway as brutal as some of the ones i've seen if look up destinies holy crap that's disgusting he, his is up there and that is what i want to say here they seem to be going in so hard in the vtuber space on some people but i don't know would you classify it as a dark humor joke i 100 percent agree that ox being disappointed he didn't someone didn't die is disgusting and being disappointed that they didn't hurt more people is completely fucked up but would you say trickies is on that level and I think Hexa here, VT, made a good point on it, so I just wanted to read it out. Regardless of your politics, an American citizen lost their life tonight, and two more are currently fighting for their is in the hospital. Celebrating a shooting on Twitter will never be a good look. Keeping everyone who has affected by the tragedy in my prayers. That is a thing I wanted to bring into here, and this is why I kept it up here, to make a good point here, is that a shooting is never a good thing, no matter who it is against. No matter what someone has done wrong, it should go through the law. And with the way the chaotic na nature of some countries at the moment i don't think it's good to celebrate these kind of actions ever my final thoughts on this situation is i do think it is important to show respect and empathy beyond the boundaries of belief so if you take anything away from this try not to be a hypocrite in these situations if you think empathy should be shown in all situations do that if you think edgy humor is harmless keep that mindset even if you don't like who it's about i think some self-reflection on how easy it is to contradict yourself is important someone else Else, doing bad behavior doesn't justify your own as I did see a lot of people saying well they did it so why can't I do it even though I'm against it I'm going to do it because they did it and that is not a solution in the grand scheme in the end have some respect and treat serious news with the seriousness it deserves as these kinds of incidents don't benefit anyone in the long run this is not a good situation this is not a positive situation no matter your feelings about the candidate and I, this is an outward opinion, as I am not American. I'm an Australian, just outlining that. I don't think the chaos it incites helps anyone or is positive for anyone. If I'm sorry if any parts of this was nervous or stuttering. This is my first time connecting to such a serious conversation, and I'm a little nervous about it. I didn't want to insert too much of my own opinion on this. 
as it is very objective when a line is crossed like this. When does it stop just being humor and it's darker than that? When does the line cross? When are you being a hypocrite? When is the line hit? It is very subjective. But in the end, I hope this can all be worked out in a civil manner and I think we do not put enough emphasis on actually sorting things out in civil ways instead of just going straight to attacking each other. Because so many things can actually be solved working out and especially from our top creators, they need to show better conflict resolution or at least coming to a middle ground. As how can they expect everyone watching them to be civil if they, they themselves cannot be? But that's all my opinions on this situation. I hope I enlighten you on some of this chaos unfolding from this situation. And I do hope no one else was hurt at that rally and the chaos from this can be calmed down. As unlikely as that seems. I'll catch you next time, my delinquents. You got this besties and be good.